Hey. Hey, guys. Welcome to another hey. episode of Christian Mommy hey. Billionaires. Today hey. is hey. Testimony hey. Tuesday. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey. I'm Chantel hey. Williams. I'm Chantel Williams. And welcome to the Christian Mommy Minute. To the Christian Mommy Billionaires. And clearly, I don't need to say anything because Giselle is right here. <laughs> I'm Chantel Williams. Welcome to another episode of Christian Mommy Billionaires Club. Where we are... One second, okay? I'm Chantel Williams. <laughs> I'm Chantel Williams. Hey Giselle, be quiet. I'm Chantel Will. I'm Chantel Williams. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Christian Mommy Billionaires, where we're saving a billion souls for Christ while doing a billion things at a time, like us as mommies do. And of course, building that billion dollar legacy that we're leaving behind for our kids. Today is Christian Mommy Tuesday. Testimony Tuesday. So every Tuesday I come up on here and I tell you guys about the goodness of the Lord. Today I am so excited to just be sharing with you guys. And you're so excited? Yeah. Just the testimony of um, me being really happy to be a stay-at-home mom. Um, that might seem really simple, but... I'm sure that if you're watching this video, more than likely you're a mom. I was just sitting here thinking about the life I'm living now was once just a prayer. I remember so many times being in service and the pastor would say, Mommy, all yeah. the, okay, one second, okay? Okay. All the married people want to be single and all the single people want to be married. I can honestly say that I am very, 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 very happily married. But I know exactly what they were saying. And I think about when I was single, all the things that I didn't have to worry about when I got ready to do something, you know? any breastfeeding moms out there and you know that your baby just like kicks you and punches you and does all those pretty things while they're nursing right so i just wanted to take a minute to thank god for my children and my husband here are some of the top reasons why i love being a mom number one when you are feeling down which sometimes you are, let's just be real. Your kids will come and they will do something just so sweet. Like my daughter, Giselle, she'll be playing and she will stop playing and then run over to me and just say, mommy, I love you. Or she'll just give me a kiss. Mommy, I love you. I love you too. I love you too. Yeah, Christian mommy billionaires. See, I, did, I promise you guys I did not tell her to do that, but you know, they're just listening to everything we do. Um, number two is what reason why I love being a mom is because they just smile at you and it's just so cute of me. How can you be mad when they just smile or start laughing? Number three is I love seeing their milestones, even though I'm on baby number two right now. And, you know, I've already been through the milestones with Giselle, but with Aziza, she's a totally, she's a totally different baby. And seeing her do the things that she does, it's just really magnificent and wonderful to see her. Um, she knows how to like do the symbol for like washing her hands. She knows how to say hi and bye. And I'm teaching her sign language just like I did Giselle. Giselle, shh. Yeah, take that from her, please. Um, and they're actually starting to play together. Um, another reason why I really love being a mom is just because even though sometimes I get a little overwhelmed, it's like when I do get a break from them, I miss them so much. It's like I just miss those little chubby little cheeks and just when I run back through the door and they're like, hi, mommy, I miss you. 
It's Mama, just mommy, <laughs> she trying too hard, y'all. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. take that from her. But I just love the little joys of being a mom. Just the songs that she makes of little yeah. tiny teeny mommy. Yeah, little tiny mommy. The pizza. Little tiny teeny daddy. Oh. She's over it. But we make we make up these little songs that we sing we go on walks together we make food together i love making food since we're like uh we're pretty much vegan in our household and i love making new foods for her for her to try don't forget to subscribe it definitely gives your girl that boost of confidence that she needs and it just lets me know that i'm going in the right direction please 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 subscribe it's absolutely free and i'm going to be coming with some really dope videos guys i have a lot of great ideas and please just support your girl and if you already subscribed i just want to thank you so much thanks for being a part of the notification gang god is going to do big big great great things really really fast on this channel so make sure you stay tuned because i want everybody to be a part of the ride i love I seeing aziza just grow and eat more food aziza loves to eat okay now <laughs> you can put anything on her plate and she literally will eat it like literally she eats like all kind of fruits of course all kids love fruits but she eats all kind of vegetables broccoli cauliflower brussels sprouts like anything spinach you name it i mean what more could a mommy ask for but for her kids to eat their vegetables right and I'm just so happy that I have uh, a loving husband who helps me out and gives me a break so that I'm not overwhelmed. When he sends me pictures when I'm out, he'll send me pictures of them. Anybody else ever try to like teach their kids something and then they don't really execute it? For me, it's like that. So I was trying to show her how to get down from the couch or the bed or whatever. This is my um, 12 month old Aziza. And I left. Then guess what? I came back. Um, well, before I came back, my husband has sent me like a video of her climbing down the bed by herself. And I'm just like, bro, like I taught her that. Like that was me. Like I did that. And she wouldn't even do it for me. Like I kept taking her and pulling her feet down. And of course I was holding her, like showing her the motions. And then all of a sudden, boom, it's in action when I leave. Um, so I just love all the little joys of being a mom seeing them play with their toys, um, having them uplift my spirits, and they literally make me a better person because Giselle just turned three and she's at the age now where she's literally following everything I do and saying everything that I say. So it's super important for me to be the best that I can be, um, the best version of me like right now. So I'm still working on myself. I'm not perfect. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching Christian Mommy Billionaires. And don't forget to subscribe. Mommy, I tell them. Huh? I want to tell them. Watch our channel. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Subscribe. Bye-bye. Jesus, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Jesus, Jesus, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Ziza. Bye-bye.